Hey guys, today's video is going to be similar to another video I made several years ago on how to check for spark and spark plug fire and engines. And I know my channel is mainly for small engine repair, but this also applies to vehicles too. Anything with spark plugs. So this is a universal video, but I'm going to use a small engine as an example. And I got another video for small engines on diagnosing spark problems. I'll put that in up here and you can check that out if you're working on a lawnmower or a generator or something like that. But anyway, I'm going to show you three different ways of checking for spark plug fire in any type of gasoline engine. I got a regular old spark plug here at first because the method I've used most is just hooking the spark plug wire in this and ground it out and actually checking for spark. That's always been reliable for me. And the, the second method kind of is in the same category as that, but you can make one of these yourself but I bought this it was only like five dollars anyway it's got a clip on here like you can ground it to the block and hook your plug wire to it then uh, of course this will actually uh, check for a little bit uh, bigger spark gap here so if you know if a, gap, if a spark comes off this far you know you got a pretty hot spark and it should be uh, good enough for a uh, good enough to fire this the plug right but uh, I just thought that was neat. And like I said, you can make one, but time you spend three or four dollars for a plug and another dollar or two for the clip, you're going to have about the same in it, and it's not going to have this type of end on it. So you're probably better off just to spend the five bucks and pick one up. But uh, we're going to try that out here in a minute. I'm going to show a demonstration on all this here in a minute. Then these two are together. These are inline spark plug checkers. I've had a lot of people tell me I should get them because it would be more accurate for diagnosing spark problems and you're probably right because you can actually check for spark while the engine's running. So if you get an intermittent spark or a miss that's due to a spark problem, these will tell you. And you can see there's two different types. I got this one mainly for lawnmowers because of that angle plug. And this one's more for vehicles but you can use either one for either application and these are pretty cheap too these are five dollars a piece as well so you can see for fifteen dollars you can get a universal spark checking kit if you want to call it that and uh, you can throw in a new plug with it too the way you got all three ways of checking it but uh, talking about these on the back of the package it kind of explains about diagnosing the what it's reading so we'll look at that because uh, I'm just going to be telling you the same thing okay testing condition one engine does not start bulb of inline checker is flashing interpretation the fuel system is most likely at fault because if you got spark and you got compression then you're still not running and you have a fuel issue a carburetor or injector or a sensor or something condition two engine does not start bulb of inline spark checker does not flash interpretation ignition system components are faulty so if you got compression and you got fuel going in the engine but no spark that's your problem condition three engine starts bulb is flashing but not at constant rate dirty or fouled spark plugs or deteriorated ignition system components condition four flashes are weak and not constant as rpm of engine is increased interpretation deteriorated ignition system components so as you can see, you can tell a lot just by checking for spark in the engine. It tells you an awful lot of what's going on. So now let's check these out and we'll show you the examples of each one. Okay, for method one, I got the spark plug removed from the engine. And I got it grounded out against the bolt, the head bolt here. I got the spark plug wire hooked. And I'm going to crank it over. And you see, it's got a perfect blue spark on there. Now the argument or debate between... The accuracy of this is uh, that you're not always getting a true reading on this because just because the spark plug's firing here, when it's in the engine under all the compression and the gases in there, it may not be firing right in there, which is true. This don't uh, this ain't telling you what it's actually doing inside the engine when it's actually running and everything, but it helps you diagnose spark problems. So that's a test one that I've always done ever since I started working on small engines and test two is basically the same thing just a little fancier again it's about the same setup the plug wires hooked up 
and it grounds out up here through the shroud. You can clip that to any metal on the engine. And you see that's a pretty big spark gap there and it's jumping so you know you get a pretty strong spark. So this is probably actually more accurate than using an actual uh, spark plug because this has a little bigger gap on it. Okay so now I got the plug in the engine and the wire is unhooked. So I'm going to hook the wire onto this and put this on the plug. So now we'll get the inline tester hooked up. Now if the plug is firing you'll see a light come on in here. But uh, if you have a, a weak spark, it's going to be real dim. And if it's not firing all the time, like if you have a points problem or a weak coil, it'll be intermittent. That's usually determined while the engine's running. It's kind of hard to see it on the video here, but uh, let me zoom in on it. Now, one thing to note, if your spark plug is shorted, I don't mean fouled, I mean shorted. Like there's no gap in between there, like it directly shorted. This is still going to light up. But if your spark plug's fouled and there's so much carbon built up that it can't spark, then this ain't going to light up. That's what this is for to determine if you have a bad spark plug. So if you see it lighting up, you know you're getting enough power to fire the plug, and the plug should be firing unless it's shorted for some reason. But if it's fouled or something, it's not going to not going to light up, or it ain't going to be constant. So now let's look at one with the engine running. And it's another good time to talk about it. This is a plug I've been using in my main lawnmower, with the 12 horse Briggs. It's an E3 plug. It's an E310. That's what takes the place of a Champion J19. I haven't had no problems at all. I ain't even cleaned this plug since the day I put it in there. It still don't look bad. I just wanted to show you that. So it actually looks like it's kind of misfiring a little bit there. It's not not a constant spark, so uh, that plug might actually need to be cleaned. It's supposed to be anti-fouling and last forever, but it looks like it was jumping a little bit. But we'll check with the inline tester here while it's running. And for curiosity's sake, we'll put the other tester on there and see what it does. That seemed like a pretty strong spark on that, so that plug might actually need cleaned a little bit. But I'm not going to clean it yet. We're going to test it with the inline in tester while it's running and see what it does. I just turned the key on and off here to show you that uh, when it's not sparking, it just quits running and it quits lighting up. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you a few other ways of testing for spark on this. Now, if that wasn't a constant firing on that light there, you know that that plug's fouled and it's misfiring, firing off to the side or something, not getting a true fire. But uh, it seemed pretty consistent once it was running there, but I'd say it's got a pretty good spark on it and it's good to go. But uh, anyway, I just want to make a video on showing you the other two methods of checking for spark because a lot of people have told me about these inline checkers and I finally decided to pick a couple up. So uh, if you got any questions or comments, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching guys. Catch you on the next one.